Tonight, an exclusive City Hall sit down with the mayor of New York City less than three months into the job. Eric Adams talked one on one with our senior investigative reporter Tara Rosenblum, tackling topics like gun violence, cash bail and more. Take a listen. During your first month in office, here's a quick scan of the headlines. An 11 month old baby was struck by a stray bullet. A teenage girl killed working at a local Burger King. Officers shot. We checked the data. Gun violence is up nearly 20% from this time last year. Why? Uh, you know, that is such a perfect question and that's the uniqueness of my role as the mayor of the city of New York. Uh, as a longtime advocate on police reform, knowing the things we can do to make New Yorkers safe without being abusive, that's what was needed at this time. Uh, but I'm clear, uh, no matter what happens on the state level or the federal level, it is my obligation to ensure New Yorkers are safe. Regardless of who's to blame, there is little doubt that with every new headline, pressure continues to mount for you and your administration to make these streets safer. And within the same breath, you're also being asked to confront police reform at a time of racial reckoning. How do you do both at the same time? Uh, you know, that is such a perfect question, and that's the uniqueness of my role as the mayor of the city of New York. Uh, as a longtime advocate on police reform, knowing the things we can do to make New Yorkers safe without being abusive, that's what was needed at this time. Uh, but I'm clear, uh, no matter what happens on the state level or the federal level, it is my obligation to ensure New Yorkers are safe. I'm not surrendering our city uh, to the violence that we're seeing. We had 29 people shot. Uh, the last few days. That is unacceptable. You recently had a private audience with President Biden on this very issue. Are you getting what you need from the federal government to do this right? He has been extremely helpful in the coordination with the uh, Department of Justice and other federal agencies and going after uh, those uh, gun manufacturers like we did during 9-11 terrorist attack, the information sharing. Uh, I, we need more help. Just a few days ago, Governor Hochul's own sweeping public safety plan was leaked. It is now public. A good number of the plans include the tightening of the state's controversial cash bail law. You've been vocal about the need for more judicial discretion. Are you surprised by the fact she hasn't done a lot of talking about this issue since the plan was leaked? I know that all of the things that you get done in Albany is not about being vocal and not, not about being out front. Sometimes it's sitting down behind the scenes negotiating uh, with the large numbers of senators and uh, assembly persons. And so I think she's doing it right. She's making sure the end of the day is not what you say, is what you produce. You are aware by tackling gun violence in America's largest city, your policies are going to be closely scrutinized from coast to coast, and any significant successes will catapult you on a national stage. I know your chief of staff has mentioned you in the light of JFK and even made <laughs> comparisons to Barack Obama. Mr. Mayor, do you have any national aspirations? Well, you can catch Mayor Adams' answer to that question about his political future in a 30-minute special report. That is coming your way later this month.